What's going on, Reject Nation? It's Greg Alba here. A lot of people, on, especially on my Facebook and Twitter, were sending me over this article from IGN that was a breakdown of the trailer that they showed at D23 Expo for Avengers Infinity War. And I was thinking to myself, like, well, I'm not going to read this because, you know, Comic-Con's coming out, so they're probably going to release the trailer at Comic-Con. I said that to a couple of them, and both of them said... Well, the trailer actually might not premiere until November, and then made me go, well, I don't want to wait that long. I don't want to ruin this for myself a little bit. Here we are right now, and as a heads up, for those who want our Dunkirk review, I said in a previous video that we might be late to some uh, reactions, reviews that come up on Friday at Comic-Con, but I was like, you know what? I want to be on top of that for the subscribers. I know most of the subscribers care more about getting up those reactions and reviews more than our Dunkirk review, so we're not watching Dunkirk till like Tuesday now because we wanted to go on IMAX because we saw 10 minutes of footage of that on IMAX and we were like, well, there's no other way to watch this and I want my first time watching this to be on IMAX and they're all sold out until Tuesday. That's gonna be a little bit late, but we'll be on top of the Comic-Con stuff. Anyway, let's read this. Da -da 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 -da. Here it is, here's the article. Thank you to all you folks who sent this over to me. Okay, it's from IGN. Um, After opening with a sequence that shows the Guardians literally running into Thor amidst a scene of cosmic carnage. Ooh, that already sounds super exciting. <laughs> the Guardians and Thor, oh man. Especially because Thor Ragnarok looks a little bit like Guardians of the Galaxy now. Uh, there was a sizzle reel of scenes showing the Avengers and Thanos in battle. Josh Brolin's Thanos, who wasn't wearing his helmet in the scenes, also seemed to have the upper hand in every scene. Oh, oh, here's the actual breakdown. Beware of spoiler from Spider-Man Homecoming ahead. Okay, if you haven't seen Spider-Man Homecoming, you might not want to read this. Death follows him like a shadow, Mantis says of Thanos. Okay, yeah, it's a good opening line, making Mantis a little bit more important there. You know, it's cool to have her be in the front row of this footage. Peter has Spidey sense. Oh, cool. He's riding in a school bus as the hairs on his arm stand up as the villain ships descend to Earth. Oh, so do you see Manto, Mantos? <laughs> you see Mantis, and then you see Peter. The Spidey sense, that's right, because John Watts, uh, I saw an interview with him recently where he was talking about how he didn't uh, want the Spidey sense in Spider-Man Homecoming specifically. Although I thought it was in Civil War. I thought he had, a, I thought there was one moment where he had it for a second. But yeah, they don't really have that in Spider-Man Homecoming. So that's really exciting actually. Ooh, he has a Spidey sense. Because yeah, I remember John Watts was talking about having uh, the Spidey sense maybe in future installments, but he wanted to avoid. Uh, you know, anything that would remind you of the former movie installments I came, so this is really cool. Spidey has his new costume, the sleek one he rejected from Tony at the end of Homecoming. We all saw that coming. That was, that was one of their, you know, MCU setups they were doing. Gamora walking around the collector's lair, or Aether from Thor the Dark World is stored. Okay, okay, I need to pick up on my knowledge a little bit more on that. Loki offering up the cosmic cube, you son of a bee. You son of a bee, Loki. Um, a massive ship crashing into a planet. So we don't know what planet that is. Seems like the Avengers, including Iron Man, Star-Lord, and Spidey, are in another realm at one point. Ah, I remember when they showed that, uh, that special footage a few months ago. I think that was like maybe back in December or January where they had a big green screen and some, you know, destruction around them and it was... It was, uh, what the hell are the actors' names? Tony Stark, uh, Robert Downey Jr., Chris Pratt, and Tom Holland. They were all standing next to each other, stuck in another realm. Already, just from these first few lines, they are going all over the place. <laughs> you know, you got Mantis, Peter in New York, uh, Spider-Man, Iron Man, and Star-Lord in another realm. Gamora in the Collector's Lair, Loki offering up the Cosmic Cube, ship crashing into a planet that they don't have specified here. Okay... And this does put a smile on my face. Thanos declares as he arrives on the planet and confronts the Avengers! Ah! Doctor Strange and Star-Lord all trying to fight him. Doctor Strange and Star-Lord working together, it's all trying to fight him? So does that mean like all the Avengers and Doctor Star- and Doctor Star-Lord, Doctor Strange and Star-Lord are trying to fight him? I, I think that's what it means. Or is it just Doctor Strange and Star-Lord working together? That was a combo I didn't really expect to see. I, w I wasn't expecting like a, tr a trailer to show us. But I like that. I like the not-so-obvious 
um, mashups of scenes. What is this? This is kind of overwhelming. My imagination's running a little too wild right now. <laughs> Quick shots of the Winter Soldier and Black Panther in Wakanda. That's right, there's Wakanda too. Winter Soldier and Black Panther in Wakanda, because, you know, Winter Soldier was uh, in Captain America Civil War. They showed he'd be staying in Wakanda, which makes me wonder, are they going to... I don't think Winter Soldier will be in Black Panther, but I imagine he might appear in like a post credit scene or a mid credit scene, now that they're saying this here. Cap shows up in all caps, get it, with a beard... That makes sense. Yeah, he's been a fugitive this whole time. <laughs> Just like Hannibal Buehrer said. Uh, Iron Man has a new kind of Hulkbuster type armor. And possible a different match of armor. Sweet! Because, you know, I know a lot of people weren't a huge fan of uh, Avengers Age of Ultron. That was a little bit of a disappointment for a good amount of people. I know a lot of people did like it before a bunch of hate comments started coming in. But one thing we can all agree on was that Hulkbuster suit was pretty freaking sweet. Thanos palming Thor's head. Like he's going to pop it like a balloon. Ooh, dang. That really does, that one line there really does emphasize just how powerful Thanos is if he can just pop Thor's head like a balloon. Pop or palm it? Oh, he's, oh. That sounds violent. Black Widow looks super different. Different hair. She's blonde now? Yeah, Scarlett Johansson's been blonde before. I can get on her, you know, over with her being blonde. She's... She's hot either way. Looks like there are several different battles on different fronts. What more would you want? Thanos wielding the gauntlet, destroying a celestial body of some kind. It was so quick, but it was either a planet or a moon. And it hurls it at them from the... G what? <laughs> Whoa. Dang. They, they have not been showing in the movies just how powerful Thanos is. Holy crap. Crushes, it's crushing Thor's head like he's going to pop it like a balloon. Destroys a celestial body of some kind. If it's either planet or a moon, he hurls it at them from the ground. Jeez! Is Tony Stark the last man standing? Is his premonition from Age of Ultron coming true? Oh, that beginning thing with Scarlet Witch. His face was ashen. He was shaken. That... Sounds awesome. That sounds incredible. I wish I was at D23 to actually see all this footage. I'm kind of hoping that they don't, re I'm like, there's two parts of me now. One part of me is like, I'm hoping they release it at Comic Con because I want to see all this. The other part of me is I'm hoping they postpone it, release it until November, like how a lot of people were telling me it would be, it wouldn't be released until then. So that way I can semi forget about some of what I've read from here. So that way it feels even more fresh when I see the trailer. Right now, this all sounds amazing. They're, sh they're really showing they're going over from all the movies that have come before Infinity War. Everything from Iron Man to Spider-Man Homecoming and even Black Panther coming up and Thor Ragnarok cutting around to all those and then showing how it's all leading up to Thanos and... I love that the Avengers movies, you know, they keep hinting at Thanos and Infinity War, and if you catch, keep up with the stories, and if you're a comic book fan, you, you like, you're aware of who Thanos is and how powerful he is, but for just average moviegoers, even for someone like me who doesn't really read the actual comics themselves, this is really exciting because the movies themselves haven't been showing me just how powerful Thanos is, and now we're gonna actually see it. And holy moly, does this sound nuts. It really does feel like the Avengers are an actual peril. I've, I've heard a couple of theories of how it might actually go down that, you know, most of them might die. And this is, not, this is all rumors and nothing confirmed that most of them might die. Then uh, Doctor Strange will have to do his, you know, time loop, time reversal thing. And then you get the part two to all this. I mean, there's just so much to look forward to from look, from just reading this. Spidey with his new costume, the one that we saw, the Iron Spider suit. Just that description of Iron Man, Star-Lord, and Spidey all in another realm at one point. Just the scene with the three of them interacting sounds incredible. <laughs> Doctor Strange and Star-Lord. Like, I love the, the description of those two lines because it's like, these are the sarcastic, funny characters. I would have uh, liked to have heard about Rocket Raccoon at one point in here. Cap with a beard. <laughs> How cool is it whenever a character shows up with a beard? It's always badass. Iron Man's new Hulkbuster type armor 
Black Widow looking different. I guess, I guess that's kind of exciting. And is Tony Stark the last man standing? I, I don't think that'll be it. It'd be cool if it was like Tony Stark and Doctor Strange is the last man standing. I feel like those two interacting would be the most exciting because they're so similar with each other. I feel like they'd be very competitive. And I know according to this article that these are just highlights from the trailer. This isn't a full detailed breakdown of what the trailer actually fully consists of, but just those little highlights are pretty sweet. I'm hoping this movie's three hours long. I would gladly watch a three hour movie of this. I really am hoping for, Ooh! You best believe that when the trailer comes out, we'll be doing a reaction review for that instantaneously. I cannot wait. Ah, well, thank you guys for saying sorry to me. Because, I, yeah, I, like I said at the beginning of this video, at first I was like, I don't know if I want to check this out. Because I kind of just want to experience the trailer ahead. But when I heard November, I was like, Ugh. I kind of want to know what's in it. I kind of want to spoil it for myself a little bit. <laughs> That's something I normally don't like doing, but I said, screw it, let's do it for this one. Anyway, guys, thanks for sending this my way. I'm excited to see Avengers Infinity War. So I'm curious, I got a couple questions. If you only saw the description of this, what part of it is the most exciting for you? And if you were at the D23 Expo, what part of it got the biggest reaction from you? All right, leave your comments down below. Thank you for tuning in. Subscribe to The Real Rejects. Click that notification bell. Follow me at the Greg Alba on Instagram and Twitter, and you can check out our exclusive perks and rewards over at Patreon. All proceeds go to helping this channel run. Much love to all of you.